Judge Sankale Ole Kantai withdrew from hearing the case, stating that a brother to Ford Kenya Party candidate Moses Wetangula, Tim Wanyonyi, who is currently Westland MP, Wetangula himself and his new Ford Kenya key rival Muskari Kombo are all his friends. The judge also revealed that he has a relative working in the immediate former Bungoma County Senator Moses Wetangula's law firm. Lead Judge Wanjiru Karanja has now ordered for a constitution of a three-judge bench to hear the case that is now set to commence on December 10th. Combo's lawyer Alfred Ndambiri had argued that the application by Wetangula challenging the High Court ruling was filed inappropriately. The judge has ordered that parties involved in the case should make submissions by Tuesday next week. In Bungoma, the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission has banned all campaigns conducted during funerals and churches. This is to avoid clashes by supporters of the various candidates cleared to contest in the by-election. I've also asked the candidates to desist forthwith from campaigning at uh, funerals and religious uh, gatherings. They should desist. That does not mean they don't go to church. But they should not use any of those platforms for campaigning. It is uh, very clear and we have made it clear. Candidates have also been warned against use of abusive language and hate speech that may contravene the election act. This was agreed as the four candidates in the by-election held their first joint meeting with election officials in the county. The leaders also agreed to harmonize their campaigns to avert clashes of opposing supporters. And they have all agreed on the harmonized uh, uh, campaign timetable which I have told them to observe so that uh, we do not have issues of supporters crashing. The by-election is scheduled for 19th December. At the same time, a war of word has erupted between members of the county assembly supporting Wetangula's candidacy and those behind Muscari Combo. Supporters of Wetangula are accusing the governor of taking sides in the by-election, a move they say is likely to be detrimental to the development agenda in the county. Mr. Lusaka made it public that he would not side with any politicians in the race for the Senate seats because he was elected by the people of Bungoma from both sides of the political divide. They also claimed misappropriation of the county funds, an allegation vehemently denied by those supporting Combo's candidacy. If they had any information, if they have any information about misuse of funds, surely they know the right uh, path to take. Why have they not called in the CID? Why have they not called in the, the anti-corruption? 